Welcome to Meet the Expert. Bite Size. <laughs> I would say with both. So uh, f- first of all, you would need a little bit of basic knowledge about ticks and about the disease. Uh, without that, you will not be able to control it. But nevertheless, it showed it, uh, the disease. We learned that it's a human-made disease. So it's a matter of uh, what people are doing and how they behave, how they transport the virus. So, for example, what I have seen in the Caucasus region is then where you don't have at that time a compensation scheme for uh, farmers which lost, are losing the animals. So the pigs are dying or start to become sick and the people then to save money, they slaughter the sick pig. And then you have suddenly um, so much cheap meat on the market, on the black market, and everybody buys this cheap meat. And then this cheap meat is, of course, uh, contaminated meat or infected meat. And then it's carried in the suitcases, in the cars, over hundreds of kilometers. And that's how the the disease is spread. Humans are spreading the disease not uh, so much the animals from nose-to-nose infection. We, the humans, so you don't need a virologist or an epidemiologist. Actually, you need an anthropologist or a a sociologist to, to cope with the disease. So we have to work holistically.